Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Don here. So today I'm with you with a review of the 60 twin markers, alcohol ink markers from B&M. Um, I was asked if I could do this um, and I did say it all depended whether or not my B&M had them and they did which is awesome so i do have them here the other thing that my bnm had um which i thought i would have a look at is this so it is an alcohol marker book so you get the alcohol ink marker book in there but on the other side if you flip it over you've actually got um the aqua markers so the um watercolor pens that i have already reviewed they've got the paper to go with that as well so i thought um i'm gonna do a review of the alcohol ink markers and then i'll come back on with the other markers um which is still my absolute favorite watercolor pen um and we'll do a review of the paper to see how well the paper works but yeah um so i thought that'd be interesting now i'm not going to be doing a compare because if I compare these markers with my Corpix, my Spectrum Noirs, my um, Pro markers, or any of those sort of pens, they're gonna come, they're gonna rip badly. It's as simple as that. Um, only because I love Corpix, I love Pro markers, and I, you know, well, I, I like ish <laughs> the Spectrum Noir ones. Um, I am gonna review these markers as if um, I'm on a really tight budget because i know especially in today's market or in today's like um economy people are on budgets um and if you've never worked with alcohol ink pens before and you're wanting to start somewhere then i'm going to see how well these perform to see if it, this is something that you can get away with using um i'll let you know how they feel they're the same shape as the aqua markers the watercolour ones that I have. I, I like I say, I absolutely love them. They're still one of my absolute favourites. Um, and for £20, yeah, we're getting a brush tip and we're getting a fine tip, which is amazing because normally you get a brush tip and a chisel nib. Um, so that'll be interesting to have a look. Um, so yeah, so I think without further ado, we're going to open it. Um, I've been dying to open these the last couple of days because I got them a few days ago. Um, and I've been wanting to see um, what like storage they're in because they actually come in a storage for you. Um, so there we have it. There's all the pens. Don't they look lovely? Those teals look really nice. Now, one thing I did like, um, actually, let's open it the other way. One thing I, I did like about these pens is the um, the amount of colours that you get. So you could, in theory, get away with just um, this box because you, you've got a nice selection of colours. Right, so let me just... I'm doing a really bad job of this. So open this from the bottom, guys. It'll be so much easier because I'm, I'm wanting to keep it in the... There we go in the um, in the box it comes in okay so this is it this is our um our pens so let's take one out um yeah exactly the same they feel quite nice um to use that is one nib actually let me get a darker one um so you can see it i'm gonna have to shut that door i think as i can continue to there we go so that's our fine nib which is really nice and looking at it they look super juicy which is always a good sign and then that's our brush nib um which again it looks really nice actually it looks as though it might be a bit fluffy um and that's one thing i noticed with the aqua markers they did go quite fluffy however i still love them um yeah i think i just thought that the pigment of them was amazing so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna swatch these and i'm gonna swatch them in this book as well and what i'll do is i'll do that on speed up just so that um yeah it doesn't take forever i'm gonna shut that down hopefully um reduce the amount of light that's coming in so i will um i'll swatch these and then we'll be back
right so i'm back um yeah have to say quite impressed so far um not so much with the fine tip side so I, as you saw that i did two swatches so this is swatch i went over three times with the fine tips they were very inconsistent um and what i mean by that is some were really really hard some were lovely and soft and were just were a dream i think it was the um the warm gray number nine the yeah the tip on it is just gorgeous whereas the blue gray one was just awful it was really hard we even have a squeaky one um i think i'm gonna no i want to say it was this one yeah so we do have there was one squeaky one in the whole one um if that, whether that'll be the same if you buy these or not i do not know um but one the other thing that i'm quite impressed about is they are very true to color so what you are swatching is exactly the same color as on the lids which is sometimes really really um can be really annoying because they'll be completely off these are all really nicely done um so if i take scarlet for instance and put it on there it is exactly the same as what we've swatched so yeah the the fine tip side was a bit inconsistent with how it felt so some were really hard some were really soft um some were just nice to use some were awful to use um yeah so you didn't get um it wasn't even all the way through however the brush side so this is the brush side what an absolute dream the brush nib is gorgeous it is super soft and really nice and yeah i i quite enjoyed swatching it out it felt really really nice as well so uh, the paper seems to be holding up quite well i mean um this is where a lot of ink sp uh, spilled out from the brush side and i went over quite a bit but nothing can leak onto the other side of the paper which is fine you won't be able to use that side but yeah so far for six pounds um for this book it is holding up very very well um so i'm quite impressed with the paper as well now i've just pulled this i think it was free with a magazine um and i'm gonna do so i wanted quite an open stamp for this um so i'm gonna do the watermelon slice and i'm gonna colour in these apples um and we're just gonna see how well they blend together how much they bleed through the feel of them now i'll do the colouring in with you so that you can see um what i am doing um because obviously you know um it's a bit pointless doing a review if i'm just gonna speed the whole thing up let me just grab it for lock Yeah. If I can get my block out, that is. There we go. Um, and let's stamp these. So I am using a hybrid ink. Uh, this is from Nouveau Hybrid Ink. All that means is we can use it with watercolours and we can use it with alcohol ink markers. Um, so you do need to be careful with what um, ink pads you use. If you are using these pens, for crafting um, and card making then you will need to yeah sort of look at your inks um but i find that um this hybrid one that i've got i absolutely love it it's the one that i always seem to turn to now when i very first started crafting i never realized that there was you know um different inks that you needed with different types of materials um so i used to always get it wrong so Rule of thumb is if you're using alcohol ink markers, then you want a water-based ink. If you're using water uh, colour markers, then you want to use an alcohol-based ink. So that is the rule of thumb. If you're like me and sometimes get, I mean, I don't get as muddled up now, but when I first started, then best thing to do is find a hybrid that will work with both because it takes all the guessing out of it right okay so let's move this so what i'm going to do now with you is we're going to color these in um and i'm going to so the, another good thing about having a swatch so i am going to take a swatch out of the book um and it has got these perforated lines as well which is nice but yeah i'm not very good at taking them up um the good thing about having a swatch is that you were able to see especially when the number system doesn't really make much sense um however i'm saying it doesn't make much sense 
um it's not that i'm really really sorry about that dodgy edit there um the somebody came to the door and the doorbell was super super loud um so yeah i am very very sorry about that so um yes good thing about having a swatch is you'll be able to see what colors are going to blend nicely together because if you want to do all your shading and stuff which is one thing that alcohol ink markers are really good at whether these are good at it i do not know yet that is what we are going to find out so now they do seem to have a system which is really really nice um so you've but theirs is numbers so you can see for instance these reds would blend beautifully together um and it's 13 and 15 so you can see that their numbers do go off like um on for, from them if that makes any sense <laughs> i hope that makes sense uh so for instance like your blue grays you've got blue gray one blue gray, gray three so your three being the darker the one being the lighter um yeah but however with ones like this it's quite it can get quite complex with having a look at the numbers um and trying to work out whether or not they go together because then you've got some that work will look as though they will work beautifully together um but are nowhere near the same numbers um so yeah so it is well worth having um so for instance actually it does go together because i was going to say you've got your ultramarine which is 73 which would actually go really nice with your cobalt blue at 71 and royal blue at 70 um but like i say do your swatches your swatches are your best friends in this um oh here's a perfect one so your deep magenta 292 would actually probably blend perfectly with the vivid reddish purple which is 86 so those numbers do not go together so just just a little something um yeah that well yeah <laughs> see with copic markers you've got a number then you've got the color and depending on the color like the number depends on how light and dark it is depend on the number depend uh the letter sorry depends on the shade so it can get quite confusing um when you, you're working with multiple sets um so always have a swatch honestly a swatch is your best friend um when it comes to um alcohol ink markers and then use your swatch um, and eventually you'll find the ones that you like the most so we're going to go with the apple um and i'm going to make a, i'm going to do a green apple so i'm actually going to start off with grass green um and i'm going to check my blend first so we're going to go into grass green into weeds green um followed into um although we could just do two i'm thinking actually i might add the dark forest green um let's have a look so i am going to use the brush side so when when doing your blends what you want to do is you want to actually do yourself a little swatch so have a separate piece of paper somewhere and then you want to bring in your colors and then you just want to swatch them up and actually they seem to blend lovely um now i have a feeling because of the amount of ink i've put on there yeah that has gone through so if you are using this book and you're going to be doing blends and stuff then i highly recommend getting something like a sheet of acetate or um a sheet of plastic or something just to protect your other pages um so yeah but i mean that seems to blend quite nice together well, to keep the lids off because it just makes my life a little easier but yeah and you just go backwards and forwards oh, I keep doing it the wrong way I won't care it's indicated as well um so it is actually indicated of where yeah so I don't know if you can see that blend the, the dark's not brilliant so yeah but let's have a go let's see i'm sure i said i was going to leave the lids off right okay so we're going to do the apples first so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just do my sort of shadow areas with the darkish green first and the good thing about testing it with the brush pen is to see how fine of a detail we can actually get and how close you know um and how well they work really 
Um, let's go with our next green, which is this one. And then we're just going to extend those lines like so. And go all the way around. So we're just extending our shadows. Okay. Like that. And then you want to come in with your final colour and then just go over the top of everything. Like so. Now I'm not an expert at all when it comes to using alcohol ink markers. Um, I just know um, basically what I have taught myself. Um, and yeah, I, 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 think I, I don't think I do too bad of a job. They actually work really nice. Um, I'd say that green's a little bit too dark, but that's fine. So I'm just gonna go back in and we're just gonna repeat over the top. Um, also, the other thing about this paper, so you've gotta be careful when using alcohol inks. You do need the right paper. And the reason for that is it does bleed. Um, not I'm not talking like from the other side I'm actually talking about from your lines um I'm putting a lot of ink on this this is super super juicy pens I have to admit I mean there is loads of ink on these pens um and it hasn't once gone out of the lines so this paper is actually proven to be quite nice um to use yeah I'm really pleased with that apple really pleased with it and the nibs so far are holding up so yeah I quite like them and you know what for a beginner and especially for someone definitely not the fine nibs the fine nibs are awful um but for a beginner these would be lovely I don't know why right, I'm going to do this one with the fine nibs just to see if we can get a nice blend with them um because you never know. Now it is indicated as well um, on your pen which side is the fine and which side is your your brush, which is really really nice. So I will show you that in a second. Um, I've just got outside the line there because I wasn't in much attention. But yeah, I mean yes, you can. Um, it's definitely not as nice, but. You can do blending with the fine tip end. Um, they really don't feel very nice at all. Um, even, I think, even for a beginner, I don't think you would like, um, yeah, you would like that this one. Uh, but they are blending quite nicely with the fine tip, so you could use them if you wanted, but it's not really something... I'm going to use again because it's yeah I don't like them um so it does tell you here so you've got it says fine there and it got brushed there but the other indicator is so where all your fine tips are you've actually got this gray mark that tells you so just to scan and look at it if it's gray you know that when you pull that off that is going to be your fine tip um on the black side you know it's going to be your brush tip. So it's another sort of quick indicator, which I really, really like. Copic markers do it as well, which is nice. Um, so Copic markers have the same system um, so that you can tell which side is which. But, I mean, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm really pleased with them, actually. So I'm going to ha do some red. So let's have a look. So we're going to use, um, I'm going to use the scarlet. Um, and then I think I'm going to use the fruit pink and um, this one, number 15, right, and we're going to do the same thing we're going to do with this apple. I am going to go up closer to it when um, we finish. Again, um, so when you're doing shading, you want three tones, so you want um, a dark a darker tone, a mid tone, and then a light tone. So that's what you're looking at. Um, you put your darker tone where any shadows would be. So that's where your darker tone is going to be on um, when you're, um, yeah, colouring in. Wrong end. 
I mean, the brush tips are really holding out and they're really nice. They flick really nice as well, which is always a bonus. Okay. Do you know, I think <clears throat> if you're just starting out with like alcohol ink markers you know and you're not sure these would actually be okay like I said don't really pay much attention to the um to the like the fine tip side but the brush tips are lovely um when I first started out I started out with uh pro markers this probably wasn't the best color to choose um is there another one? Oh, let's go with French Vermilion because so, it's a bit too light. Let's try this one. Yeah, much better. Um, I'm just going to go all the way around. But like I say, that's, that is blending. Lovely. Oh, I like the red better. So if I just hold that up, you can sort of see the shadings and stuff. And they, they've worked out really, really nicely. I'm going to come in. There we go. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I started off with Pro Markers, which, again, not very cheap. Um, but my eldest daughter had um, Pro Markers. And oh, my, my other daughter, my youngest daughter, she has a Spectrum Noir one. So, I sort of started out with them. Um, I did actually get myself a really cheap set of um, alcohol ink markers and you know I use them all the time and then until I got like I, I got the pro markers and stuff but when I first started proper colouring in with alcohol inks then that's when I came and started using um, the more expensive pens but actually you know now I know what I'm doing and using these cheaper pens you actually still get a really nice finish to them so yeah so far I would say definitely worth 20 quid I mean what's 20 pounds in the grand scheme of things I want to do the middle so I'm going to go with barely beige the other thing I liked about this set as well it's got really nice um skin colors You've got Barn Red, which I think would make a lovely skin colour. Um, you've got the Burly Beige, you've got Fruit Pink, you've got Hazelwood, you've got Chocolate. So you've got quite a nice selection there of, um, yeah, of uh, skin colours, which is always nice. Right, now I should always double check because, yeah, perfect. Right, so... We're just going to, I'm just working out which ones, my darker ones and whatnot. So I'm only going to use two for this one. And then I'm just going to do like this. And you can see I'm not, I'm not professional at all. Um, I just, I, I just enjoy colouring in. Um, so yeah. And then if we just come in and blend that out, like I said, these are holding up lovely. Now, the brush tip, um, it feels amazing, don't get me wrong. But it has sort of um, frayed just a little bit at the end. Now, that's the exact same thing that happened with my watercolour ones. Um, but I still like them. Um, so I think it would be personal preference. There we go. So there's our apple centres. Um, let's just colour this bit in. And they, like I said, these are so, so juicy. And what I'm going to do, we're going to actually have a look to see how much ink is in one of these pens. So I'm just going to grab a pen at random and we're just going to colour lots of pages in until, um, let's go this one, um, until it's, uh, it runs out. Because I'm interested to see how much ink you do actually get in one of the cheaper pens i'm just um coloring this in but yeah i seem to be able to have lots of control so we can do quite a finish line and then quite a thick line so depending on 
on what you're achieving it is it's not as easy as a Copic that I will say but you can you can do it with a bit of practice I mean, they look lovely. <laughs> Those lines. Oh, sorry, you couldn't even see. I do apologise. I forgot that I'd come in close. Um, yeah, so you could do finish lines. You can do thick lines. You can do medium lines. So it's all about control of the pen and how you hold it, um, how far away it is. Um, but yeah, so you can get different, different variations of um, of lines. So yeah, I like them. So I think, um, I mean, we've done some colouring in, quite like them. Um, I do think they need to go through their places a bit more. I am going to continue to use this book. This paper, I highly recommend it for £6, guys. Um, definitely, definitely recommend it. So you are getting quite a few alcohol ink marker sheets and you're getting quite a few watercolour sheets, which again, is just fabulous. What I'm going to do now... Uh, oh, what colour should I use? Um, oh, I don't know. Are we want? Do we want a nice bright colour? I think we want a nice bright colour. Um, yes, I think I'm going to go with the peony purple. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'll do it on the back of here. We're going to start on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour keep colouring all the different pages because this I'm not going to keep this page this is just yeah so I'm going to colour that page in we're going to turn it over call, and I'm going to keep on colouring to see how many full pages we can get out, out of this pen now I'm going to use the brush side because I'd like to see how the brush side holds up and I will show you it at the end um, so that you can see how badly frayed it is um, this pens through the test for you to decide whether or not it's worth you spending £20 on them um, to start experimenting with alcohol ink pens. Like I said, I'm loving them. I'm for 20 quid. Um, and don't don't ask me to compare them with any of the other brands, so like Ohuhu, um, Corpic, um, Pro Markers, Spectrum Noir, because they will come at bottom. That's all I'm going to say. That you know for 20 pounds they're never going to be as good as those um or who who is starting i know they're starting to get quite expensive i remember when they first came on the market they they were uh quite cheap but um yeah they seem to the price seems to have shot up but they're actually coming on top now but yeah um i really like them i have to say for 20 pounds i really like them and if i was starting out um it just did my like my crafting career um, I probably would have grabbed something like this to start off with so that I knew whether or not it was something that I would definitely want to invest in because when you're investing in alcohol ink markers, it's a lot of money. So you need to know really whether or not it is something um, that you want to do. But yeah, let's see how much ink is in these. Um, so I'm going to pop you back on um, speed up and then yeah, we'll go from there.
we're back wow all i'm gonna say is when it, these are juicy they went on and on and on and i bet i could probably still get um some more out of this so full sheets where um so we did use the brush end first um so i can't really tell you with the because as you can see i changed over here just for a little bit on the uh, fine tip um, because this one had started running out um, but the fine tip just went on and on and I even managed right at the end just to write my name with a heart but I mean like there's still that one more or less has gone I am going to show you the nib because the nib hasn't held up at all on that um, but I mean look at that that's now working again um, quite nicely as well but it has the nib on this one has loosened up and it's still nice so i mean we are still going um actually it's going better than before so you can see um as long as you're not con like yeah it's the, these pens are gonna last you quite a while i mean that's gonna st still keep on going which is just crazy um so the nib, let me show you the nib and how that is held up. So you're not going to be doing the same as I have. Um, but if I just hold this up close, can you see it's gone all sort of fluffy? Um, and you can't get like can you see you're not going to get a nice edge. Now that started happening because I ended up I can still see there's some ink left there um, because I was pushing quite hard on the paper to get the the ink out you're not going to do that with the whole point of a brush nib is to be nice and light um, but I just wanted to see how much ink these held um, and they have held so one two with continuous use one two three and a half pages of full coverage you're going to get with continuous use and then we go so but all in all we've got one two three four five six i'm going to say seven pages because i mean we're still gone um so seven pages a four pages of ink you are getting out of this out of each pen that is a lot of ink that you are getting um i am impressed look for 20 pounds all of the ink that you're getting they are super juicy you're getting 60 pens the color range is beautiful as you can see here you've got skin toned you've got your grays you've got a black you've got your greens your pinks purples reds you've got a really really good shade the nibs yeah they are what they are you're not going to get the best nibs at all for the price that you're paying for these um you know but the brush nibs as i demonstrated here with the green one you can still get your different lines um yes that your, your nibs are going to wear out um that is that's just going to be a fact of you know they are cheap nibs you can tell the cheap nibs but you're paying 20 pounds do i recommend you buy these if you're starting out definitely <laughs> definitely recommend them and the only reason why i'm saying yes is because of how they perform the colors are lovely they blend lovely they yeah they're, they're not a bad pen at all now if i was to um you know put them alongside or you who's or um copic markers or pro markers and would i say spend the get these instead of them definitely not definitely not they are not the quality of the the top markers um and i'm gonna say it now they are not high quality um but they are okay quality for the price that you're paying and for if you're starting out and you want to have a play around with them these are probably one of the cheapest brush markets on the market and yes i would highly recommend starting out exactly the same with the paper 
highly highly recommend this paper um so the paper i use is a for, normally for alcohol ink markers is i use the hp um ultra like super smooth um 200 gsm cardstock and um, it comes in packs of 250 sheets for 20 pounds you're getting here i'm not sure how many sheets does it tell us how many sheets are in it um yeah you're getting 25 sheets in this um <clears throat> 200 gsm um yeah just double checking yeah so the alcohol ink marker paper you're getting 25 sheets for six pounds but you're also getting 35 sheets of the watercolor cardstock which you can use along with the water um the watercolor uh, markers which i do have a review on my channel with um so yeah honestly six pounds for this oh definitely 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 if i could have got something like this for 26 pounds when i first started crafting and when i first started uh card making and coloring images i would have jumped for the chance because you know i wasn't sure i would i would end up with copic so i wasn't sure if i would like um you know markers i was very plain at coloring in when i very very first started and you know what this would have been ideal perfect practicing and especially in today's budget um you know we're all struggling we all want you know what we can get for money these are super juicy the brush tip is lovely um but it will wear down um so if you do a lot of use with them um then you and, and you enjoy them then you can look at getting um you know the better range of them but if you haven't ever done them before yeah go for it go for it i like i said i am pleasantly surprised with how much i like these i'm pleasantly surprised and i am um i'm not biased um you know if i if i was to suggest any pens to people then yeah i would say get the, the more expensive so i've looked at these as on their own i haven't looked at these if they are an expensive make or compared them i have looked at these as if i was a beginner and had a look the colors the amount of colors you get the fine tip side actually isn't too bad um after coloring with it um it does soften up the more you use it and yeah so it depends what what side you prefer i definitely prefer the brush side but it's a brush alcohol ink marker for 20 pounds you get 16 of them you get loads of colors that you need yeah i don't think i've got anything else to say got any questions please do ask me um i will keep these in my stash i'm going to continuously try and play with them um and then maybe come back on you know in a couple of months time when i've really really i mean i've really t I, I do feel like i have tested them out today and i'm pleased with them so um i love the fact that it comes in this case if you are to get the aqua markers as well it's all by the same people deco time um all the cases do clip in together again which is really handy um i bought the spectrum noir air cases for well trays for my pens and it cost me a fortune to do i would have loved something like this absolutely loved it so yeah again really really good i think it's doing like 20 quid just for your cases off spectrum noir you're paying 20 pounds with 60 markers in honestly how yeah it's just mental mental anyway uh, let me know what you think of my review down below please do give it a thumbs up share it as well with your friends um or anybody who is looking at um starting their journey with alcohol ink markers and not sure where to go because um we are here this is actually all in the uk i'm not sure you can get deco time anywhere else um it'd be nice if you could because it is really nice friendly beginner set um definitely definitely anyway we'll leave it there thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed this review and i'll see you guys in another video very soon until then happy crafting everyone bye